guys welcome to the channel thanks so much for coming by if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and um, if you are feeling extra great <laughs> go ahead and hit that um, bell right beside it to let you know every time I upload a new video um, today I'm just gonna go through how I package my orders for Etsy my sold orders for Etsy I have two that I'm sending out um, on Etsy it always offers you uh, an option of printing you're obviously going to have to print out your shipping label because um, that's how it gets shipped. You know, you have to put one of those on for the post office or FedEx or UPS, whatever you choose, to ship it. And then it also gives you a choice. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the table, guys. It always gives you a choice on whether or not you want to print out. Um, I forgot what it's called. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, a packing slip. Sorry, my brain froze a little bit. I always click out, uh, you know, I always print out a packing slip and I check it off, make sure I've got each item in it. Um, and then I also do this. Let me go ahead and show you. Make sure I'm covering everything up there. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But I always put like um, a little asterisk by the please take a minute of your time to give me a review. I always check off exactly what they ordered. And then I also check off on the ship to date. Um, I always try to under promise and over deliver. So what I mean by that is, is I always put a three to five shipping date time and I try to get it out in one to two. That way people are happy and surprised it's out sooner than it promised. And I always put a check mark by the ship to date, ship by date, excuse me, ship by date. Um, that way they see that you did ship it out earlier than expected. So I always put everything in a clear bag first. Um, I do ship in the plastic um, bags, but I also always wrap them first. And I try to wrap them to where they're ready for gift giving. So I don't know if it'll focus on it, but this is what I put on my tag blankets. I just fold them into quarters, put them in a bag, ready to go. The second order um, I have what's for two little teethers. I have an owl and a bear and um, they don't really get anything because there's no um, fabric to it. It's just the just the wooden teethers. So I always print out a cute little note that says, you know, I think you, hope you enjoy this as much as I may, enjoyed making it. Da, 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 da. And any kind of special um, care instructions because most of my stuff does come with special care instructions. I use a lot of minky um, and like these wooden teetherings cannot be submerged in liquid. So in order to prevent, um, to hopefully prevent somebody from messing up their, their item that number one took me forever to make and number two um, probably means a lot to them, I um, send this just in case. And I always put on everything because I do a lot of baby stuff. Um, I put on here, safety warning, choking hazard. Do not leave babies unsupervised with this product. This item is deemed to be safe. However, in no case whatsoever does that assumption bind or obligate the seller or creator or any associated manufacturer to any responsibility for the item or its use. I'm sure it's just being silly, um, but I was told to put that on there. So let's start with the taggy. Now, um, the taggy was ordered by a girl named Becca. And here are her papers. And so I just fold them into thirds. Her packing slips are in here as well as the paper that I, the care instructions that I put out. So I just take that and I wrap everything in tissue paper before I send it. I just think it looks nice. I always use two pieces. I don't use one, I use two. I think it looks nicer. And I just wrap it up. Just very simple. Nothing super fancy, nothing fancy at all. The fanciest part is gonna be that you're doing it. <laughs> um, you know, just a simple, it just looks nice, I think. It's, it's like it's just a little extra. Um, you know, Etsy is about handmade items, and you spend a lot of time making these items. And uh, you want them to be presented with as much care 
and thought as you put into them to begin with. Um, you know. And I like to fold everything over so there's no raw edges showing. Um, like I said, it's, it's truly nothing special. It's just a little extra. And I have these really cute thank you stickers I got on Amazon. And I just use that to secure it. Just a little thank you. So I just put that in. I'm going to put the paperwork in. And then I just seal it up. Ready to go. And then I simply put the packing, or excuse me, the shipping label on it. Squish it down and <laughs> get rid of all the air. Seal it up. I put another thank you sticker on it. These are really hard to get off. <laughs> Just put another thank you sticker and then I'll put the shipping label here. Same thing goes for the teethers. I just use a smaller package because it's very small. I grab her packing slips and her care instructions, fold them in thirds. Grab some paint, tissue paper. Because this is rather small, I will go ahead and fold it over. You should, like, this is just a tip and trick. You should always take a lot of time, you know, a fair amount of time packaging these things because the packaging is the first thing the customer is going to see and it's going to set their expectations. And you want those expectations to be set fairly high. Um, if you've done your job and you've done it correctly, I hope, um, then these items are going to look really good and you want to start them off by thinking, wow, you know, this is, this isn't something that's just handmade and thrown together. You want it to look good from the very beginning. That's why I, I get pink, um, these, these <laughs> packet envelopes, pink envelopes. Um, or, or if I don't get pink, I get some sort of pattern because it's only a little bit more money by far. It's, it's truly, it's not that much more money. Um, we're talking maybe a dollar or two overall, not per envelope, obviously. Per envelope, we're talking maybe a penny. Um, and it, it sets you apart. It makes people say, oh, okay, you know, like, okay, there is a difference here, um, you know, from the very beginning. So I just put those in, slide those in, and then I slide this in. Just like the other one, close it up and put a thank you sticker on the back. These are really difficult to get off for some reason. I don't know why. And then I will attach her um, shipping label. I'm not attaching the shipping labels because. It's got people's addresses on it, and that's just naughty. <laughs> I'm on the blog. So anyways, that is how I package up my Etsy orders, and um, hope you guys learned something, got some cool ideas. Um, it's actually very simple. Like I said, just go for classic. Just just be, put as much thought into packaging as you put into your actual item, and you'll go far. If you have any questions, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next vlog. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.